Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we would be simulating the frequency divider circuit using the triple five timer and we would be simulating this particular circuit using NI Multisim tool. For more such videos, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below. So we would be simulating this particular circuit so click on place source and in groups select all groups and in the component section type 55 timer now select this particular 55 virtual timer and place this on the schematic window next from groups select source and select the power sources now select the vcc place this particular vcc on the schematic window now connect the VCC which is 5 volt to the reset pin and the VCC pin of the triple five timer which is pin number 8 and pin number 4 next click on place source and select the ground place this particular ground connection across the pin number 1 of the triple five timer and connect the ground to the ground connection or the pin number one to the ground connection next select the group as basic and select the capacitor so the value of capacitor will be 0 0.47 microfarad and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window Next, connect the pin number 5 to capacitor C1 and the other terminal to the ground. And next, click on group as basic and select the capacitor. Now, the value of capacitor will be 0 0.1 microfarad and click OK and place this particular capacitor on the schematic window as shown in this particular tutorial next select the potentiometer and select the one mega potentiometer and place this particular potentiometer on the schematic window now the first terminal of the potentiometer is connected to the 5 volt supply and the other terminal of the potentiometer to the discharge pin now the discharge pin and the threshold pin are connected as shown in this particular tutorial next connect the capacitor c2 to the threshold pin and the other end of a capacitor to the ground now the trigger pin must also be connected where we would apply the clock voltage so place this particular clock voltage which is 1 kilohertz and 5 volt the negative terminal of the clock voltage is connected to the ground so click on source and select the power sources select the ground and place this particular ground connection on the schema window next also place the ground connection for our oscilloscope so connect the ground connection of the voltage source and the other terminal of the voltage source to the trigger pin or the pin number 2 now click on simulate click on instruments place the oscilloscope on the schematic window the positive terminal of the oscilloscope is connected to the output and the negative terminal of the oscilloscope is connected to the ground now the circuit is complete now let us run this particular circuit now based on the variation of the potentiometer you can see the variation of the output of the triple five timer so based on the variation of the resistor value, you can see the variation in our output.
In this circuit, the triple five timer is connected as a monostable multivibrator. Once a timing cycle is initiated by an input pulse, the subsequent input pulses have no effect until the cycle is completed. For a typical input-output waveforms, the output frequency is equal to half of the input frequency and the input and output waveform can be varied based on the capacitance and the potentiometer value. Thank you for watching this tutorial. I hope this has helped your learning purpose. I request you to like, share and subscribe my channel below.